make this short and sweet. I have a dinner date. I didn't tell you how to come right over. And don't mention my son's name again. Do you want to waste time going off on me, or do you want to know what I know? Spencer fixed your face. I guess he forgot to fix your ears. <laughs> I know you don't like me. I also know you've had a lot of problems. Can you fix them for me? Not all of them. But I think I can help you with one. What are you talking about? What if I give you your son back? Hey. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Natalie's just looking out for Star. How's your son? Oh, well, he has um, a nice set of Todd's fingerprints all over his neck, nice and black and blue. But, you know, hey, he's still breathing. My God, what Todd did is awful. He really regrets it. No, the only thing Todd regrets is getting caught. No, that's not true. He's a changed man, Marty. But, look, I'm going to do what I can to make sure he stays away from your son. Oh, okay, so you're going to be responsible for his actions? Oh, that'll keep him in line. Um, you're acting like Todd's the only one responsible for what happened between Cole and Star, but you're just as responsible as he is. My son is dead. Are you sure? I'm not talking about this with you. Would you talk about it with Spencer Truman? What does that mean? This is a message from Spencer. Probably the last thing he wrote before he died. He had a lot to say about your son. More he's hidden. Todd almost kills my son, and it's my fault. No. No, Todd lost it, and that's because he's too protective of his children, and that's because he's had them taken away from him too many times. It's because of the life he leads. Marty, Cole was wrong. He shouldn't have convinced Star to leave town. Do you think anybody can convince that girl to do anything she doesn't want to do? You don't know Todd. No, you don't know you... Todd. You weren't there when he shoved a used sweatband down my throat and used me with his friends. Oh, my God. That's terrible. You think it's terrible to think about? Well, try living with it every day of your life. Try having Blair act like you're weak because you just can't get over it. You know? And there's all these people who, what do they do? They come to poor, misunderstood Todd's No, defense. no. Marty, I don't excuse Todd for anything he's done. Especially not that. All I'm saying is that Cole is not blameless. Right. Cole was asking for it. You know, where have I heard that before? You've been holding out on me, Miles? I just got this. Spencer's lawyer who's handling the estate just found this in his personal papers. I see. So of all the people in the world, Spencer decided to confide in you about my son. I don't think so. You don't believe me? Well, I don't know about you, but Spencer didn't even have a casual relationship with the truth. So you don't want to discuss the possibility that you might be able to find your son? I just got a death certificate. Proved he was dead. I had to accept that fact. I'd rather not have to go through that again. I'm sorry. Save it. I've had to go through some things, too. Like the fact that Spencer's not the man I thought he was. No kidding. We were friends. And we did trust each other. And this letter, it's addressed to me, not to you. And you don't think he'd ever lie to you? I don't know why he was good to me, but he was. And according to this letter, he didn't want to see an innocent child get hurt. <laughs> Innocence got nothing to do with it. Uh, they buried him, so if he was okay before, he's hurt now. Well, if that's what you've heard, documents can be forged. Yeah, so can letters. Trust me, I wouldn't believe everything you read. Do you distrust me so much that you would pass up an opportunity to find your son? Okay, give it to me. I don't know. No. We're gonna do this my way. If you think you can blackmail me, you're wasting your time. This isn't about money. It's about privacy. This letter stays with me. I see, so your scheme was to tell me you could find my son, but not tell me how you could find him. 
I said I wouldn't let you read the entire letter. But I did copy the information about your child, and I'll give that to you. Once I'm sure you deserve to have it. Don't you dare put this on Cole. Your Todd's reactions are Todd's problems. I'm not putting all the blame on anyone. That's my point. What happened with Cole is not all Cole's fault, and it's not all your fault, and it's not all Todd's fault. Marty, the man that hurt Cole is not the same man that attacked you. Todd lives with guilt every single day of his life. And he would do anything to protect his daughter. Wow, that's interesting. Because um, you, you see a changed man. And I just see a man who is always hurting the people who care about him. Well, you just stick around. You'll find out soon enough. What do I got to do? Approve myself? I want to make sure that if this baby is alive, that he's better off if he's found him. I love my children. Doesn't make you a good father. Who have you been talking to? Marty. Ah, your triple date at the lodge. Fancy her, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 of course not. A word of advice, though. Every man who has ever touched Marty Saybrook has ended up in jail, paralyzed, or dead. What about the women you've touched? How's that working out for them? Well, as far as I know, they're still alive. Does Margaret Cochran not count? Hmm. No, I'm not a perfect man, but I am a good father. And I would be a good father to Margaret's kid. I pray to God you're telling the truth. Believe this. Wow, that's interesting. Because um, you, you see a changed man. And I just see a man who is always hurting the people who care about him. You know, you know, you don't believe me. Well, you just stick around. You'll find out soon enough. Maybe I should have listened. over here for this i didn't say it was all spelled out the hell am i supposed to do with this that's up to you you know I, I don't even know that spencer wrote this i don't know you're not just messing with me like he did true but can you ignore something that might make a difference to your son On the next One Life to Live. Are you dining alone? So what happened between you and John? I have evidence that my son is alive and information about where he might be. I want you to admit to me that you love me as much as I love you.